Thanks for joining me. I know you're going to love this episode. Sundays. I love creating these for you and I've been having such fabulous responses that it just makes me want to film them even more. Now Facebook kindly reminded me this week that it's been a whole year since my holiday to beautiful Napier uh, last year of course. Um, so this was a fabulous art journal spread that I did a year ago. It was actually my very second online filmed art class and I was still rather terrified that I sounded ridiculous and looked even worse. But I had to push through those fears and insecurities to be now a year down the track making these beautiful weekly episodes that you're enjoying. You just have to push through. That There's no way around it. Uh, you just have to fight for what you really want to achieve in life and that's all there is to it. So Facebook reminded me I was here a year ago but did I get to go this year? No. And why didn't I get to go? Well, it starts with C and ends with vid. Hello. <laughs> Stupid virus. Oh, I didn't get to go anywhere. So in reminiscence of my beautiful holiday that I had last year, I thought I might relook at this fabulous art journal page. Now this actual page, the original page is on my website for free you can go there for free i'll put the link in the description and you can follow along as i make this fabulous spread i like i said i went to napier i was on holidays so i actually took some sections of uh, the places that we stayed this is actually wallpaper from one of the hotels we stayed this was um one of the cushions on a couch and um this was a serviette from one of the wineries. These are like reminiscent of the spilled red wine from the tours. <laughs> yes, we had a fabulous time. And if you know Napier, it's the Art Deco capital of New Zealand. So this beautiful lady who's advertising bitters, mind you, um, I found on a royalty-free website. She's stunning, vintage-looking ad that it was. It suits Napier so much. These were tiles from one of the tables in the art gallery that we went to. I mean, I could just go on and on. Oh, that was another cushion bit in there. Now, a Clint, bit of Clint there. Oh, my gosh. Gustav was rampant in Napier. One of the stores had everything covered with his paintings. Gorgeous, opulent, lavish textures and colours. Yeah, I don't know why I resonate so much with Art Deco. So... Have a look on my website. Like I said, it's free. You can just watch it. I do step by step and I do this whole page and I just love it. I love these opulent colors. So today I'm going to create a different page. It won't be a remake because you know nobody likes a remake, but I'm inspired by this because Facebook reminded me I was there a year ago. And after I made this, I decided to put some inspiration packs together, which is what this is. This can, oops, <laughs> it, just, it just went everywhere. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, this can, can be mailed to your house. However, this is not free, <laughs> but, but I will put the link in the description if you're interested. <laughs> this comes like this with these beautiful patterns and textures and papers to inspire you to create your own glorious art deco uh, collage page. I absolutely love this idea. I love that anybody at any stage of your creativity can receive all of these beautiful papers and put something together that you would love. If you need inspiration, I have a whole video on YouTube for you to watch for free of me putting a collage together with these pieces and these beautiful textures and papers. Um, this, of course, uh, is my original 
painted tissue that I love so much and make all the time. And then there's fabulous Art Deco inspired papers, some craft papers that of course match. It's all got to be color coordinated. Um, some jelly prints because I'm completely obsessed with jelly printing and you need some of my beautiful original, hello, jelly prints. Every pack is different. So um, whatever one comes to your door will be different to what your neighbor gets because these pieces are original from my studio. Then there's, hello, the beautiful serviette from the winery. Uh, that was another winery. You know, if you're going to go to one, you have to go to two. There's, there's all the things you get in this fabulous inspiration pack. And then there's a printout of my art journal page that I did and the cushions of the textures and patterns. Now, because I was inspired to um, release this for people who don't have any kind of creative experience, you might not have an art journal or a canvas or anything else, I also included a sheet of watercolour paper. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, haven't decided. This was my first time at trying this idea. Now, seeing as it is my anniversary of this beautiful, fabulous trip to Napier and doing this, I have a few left in my store. Have a look if you're interested. If you're not, that's okay. You can just watch this video for free. It's really okay. I don't mind. I'm not trying to hard sell you, so don't like have a conoption. I'm just saying, if you want one of these, there's some in the store. If you don't, don't flick off the channel, man, because I'm not trying to hard sell you. I love her. I think she's beautiful. I love the um, art journal page. Look how good it printed. This is actually a laser print of my page because um, then if you stick it on with uh, matte medium like I do, it won't bleed. So just know, look at that. Flipping beautiful. Uh, you can use this. It's royalty free. Hello. Of course, it's royalty free. I wouldn't give it to you if it wasn't. So I think I'm going to make something today in my um, journal reminiscent of this these colors and textures i might even make some more jelly prints Ooh, let's make some new jelly prints seeing as you know it's a whole year down the track to celebrate a year ago i had a fabulous holiday and this year i didn't get one <laughs> not that i'm having a cry but i am having a cry about not going on holidays oh my gosh we had the best time here's a photo of my mum and i yes we were at a winery. I could show you a few more winery photos, but I won't. <laughs> Let's just focus on creating the art. Now, do I want to put the beautiful Bitters Queen in this year's one or do I not? Oh, man, that's the question. I'll start by um, gathering some more jelly prints and seeing what's going to inspire me today because do you change i change i move on i don't paint the same i wouldn't be painting the same as i was a year ago i just don't i find fresh inspiration i find new people that inspire me or new textures or new papers so i pretty much would be creating way differently than i was a year ago so i don't know if i'm going to use her i'm definitely going to use these colors because i'm always about red and black and the opulence yes 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 Yes, and yes, yeah, the rest of it's fine. So I don't know. The question is whether or not I'm going to put the beautiful um, Bitters Queen in or not. These are pretty cool. Yeah, so like I said, every pack's different. You may not get this exact thing in, in your pack because you'll get something else. That's pretty cool. I love that. I love that they can be all absolutely individually made. I make them. They're beautiful. They're going to be awesome. So I'm going to make some more jelly prints. Yay! So I pulled out some of my favourite opulent colours. Of course I did. Let's get a bit of alizarin crimson. You know it's my favourite. A bit of bronze. And a bit of copper. I just thought I'd make a couple of stencils with um, the other week's texture plate. This one is the Stencil Girl stencil texture plate. Um, because I know that I used some of this stencil in this section here of paper. So, you know, you know, we're having a little reminiscence today. So I put the texture plate on. Now my jelly plate's not warmed up because I was doing something else all morning. So it might take a few prints before we get something actually, you know, 
fancy. But that's pretty beautiful. you got to love that. The simplicity of these texture plates is just so fabulous. So you want to have a look a couple of episodes back um, at when I was creating the texture plates and something else. I was doing something. I get what I was doing. I was doing something else with the texture. Oh, wallpaper, wallpaper. The wallpaper and the jelly printing with texture plates. you got to have a look at that. Look at that, fabulous. I'm gonna print a couple more of those and I think that'd be really cool. That is just beautiful, but you know, we could do with a bit more bling. I'm just going to spray, oops, <laughs> I'm going to spray too much. I'm just going to sp spritz it with a little gold ink. Now, this is not what it says. It's not that distressed Tim Holtz ink because that ran out. So I filled this with um, a different gold ink and it works just as well when you get it in the right spot. <laughs> That is beautiful. Come on, that's gorgeous. Opulence, we're going for opulence because we just are. Okay, this one is rose red in the Reeves paint, but you know that, oops, you know that just means magenta. And I've got this paint, I have no idea what it is, Deco Art Metallics. I bought it from somewhere recently, ordered it online. Ooh, yes. Because somebody else had it and I watched them and I said, I want some of that. So I bought it, but look how nice that is. Oh yeah, that's just beautiful. Should we just do one more of those impression plates? Because they look just fabulous. Okay, let's do one more. Promise, I only do one more. Oh, they just look so good. Love it. That looks just beautiful. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> just tiny. I'd try and spray less this time. <laughs> and actually get it on the paper. Love it. That When that dries, it's just gonna have such a beautiful metallic gold sheen to it. Oh, yes. Now, I suppose I could pull that um, ghost print. That'd be a good idea. So I'm using, this is white tissue. The papers before that were um, a Japanese calligraphy paper. I also have some Chinese rice paper and some standard um, copy paper. Just in case you want to know, that's what I'm printing on. I do get in a bit of a frenzy of creativity and excitement with my jelly printing. Look at that, plates nice and clean. Look at that, that is beautiful. Ghost print is beautiful. Man, those texture plates are such an easy way of creating the um, shape and texture of the stencil. Oh man, you gotta make some, they're amazing. Okay, so this time I might put um, one of the wallpaper pieces on it. On the beautiful opulent colors, because that'd be really cool too. Now I'm printing these to put into my collage. My this year's collage version of the holiday, I didn't get. <laughs> I'm not at all bitter. Uh, I'm using that piece of wallpaper sample. You might have seen the episode a few weeks back where I used the wallpaper samples. I do love them and I use them all the time. So I like this text one. I think it's really cool. I'm just going to use some white tissue. 
It always pulls up nice on the white tissue. Yes, look at that. That's just beautiful. I'll print a couple more, but I won't make you watch me do all of them. And then I think I'll pull out my latest discovery from the cheap shop. Okay, so yes, I did print some more, but I didn't make you watch them all. <laughs> anyway, I was in Cracker Jacks the other day, which is like this cheap shop. I don't know why it's called Cracker Jacks. It's a dumb name, but that's what it's called. Uh, somewhere near Uncle Bill's. I mean, why is it Uncle Bill's? Maybe Cracker Jack's Uncle Bill's cousin. <laughs> anyway, I saw this blue plastic bath mat. It also had another end like that. That went like that, right? I mean, can you get any uglier? Seriously. It was a few dollars. It wasn't much. But I'm like, oh, my gosh. That's so going to print an amazing texture. Of course I did. Uh, yeah, it wasn't very much. It was only a few dollars. And as a bath mat, she's pretty ugly. But as a texture on the gel plate, hello. Hello, Dolly. I'm telling you. So we're going to play with that. Now, I'm going to start with something dramatic. Of course I am. We're starting with some Payne's Grey. And yes, I'm still making prints to go with my new collage. My this year's collage of my beautiful Art Deco fabulous holiday that I didn't get to have. <laughs> no, you're going to have to hear about it the whole episode. Me whining that I didn't get a holiday this year. All right, so that goes on. And let's just... This print is not exceptionally exciting because I have tried it. So I'm basically what I'm doing is just wiping out the paint that's in between those shapes because it's the shapes that are underneath in the ghost print that looks absolutely fabulous this is like yeah whatever so you really have to keep your eye out in the cheap shops doesn't matter what they're called they're not dollar stores in new zealand because new zealand's really expensive um, but I know in the States, they're dollar stores. Even in Australia, they're $2 stores. But New Zealand would be like $5 stores, seriously. Anyway, they are pretty cheap. I don't know what it costs. It might have cost me five bucks for the bath mat. So what do you... Look at that. That's pretty fun. I mean, come on. That can be so... I'm going to do... I'm going to do something with that. I'm going to put another layer of colour over that. I'm just going to do it again. Because I want to just take the ghost print, not the actual print that's on there now. So, no, oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. That looks like that is so much fun. All right, well, this is my last piece of calligraphy paper, and it's already got a black smudge on it, but don't let that stress you. Now, this design is definitely screaming art deco i mean to tell you without a doubt this is an art deco pattern stencil made exclusively at cracker jacks <laughs> with with a cheap five dollar bath mat hello look at that that screams art deco if ever i've seen it so but it does need a bit of bling so let's put a bit of, let's try and spritz it, people. Jeez, stuff comes out so fast. Yes, that's fabulous. But also, um, this ghost print will be really nice. Let's just put it in a, a bronze. That should pull up nice, but it needs a bit of colour as well. Let's just roll off some of that Payne's Grey for a start. And we could put a little bit of, meh, not that one, a little bit of rose red. Oops, a little bit too much rose red. Let's try that. It's a fascinating print. It's just, it says, I'm Art Deco. Look at me. I need to be blingy and full of bronze and glorious colours. Yes, it does. It says that. Can you hear it? Shh, you have to listen. <laughs> I know. I'm a bit silly today, I'm telling you. It's because I'm, like, grieving my lack of holiday. <laughs> Righto. 
<laughs> Let's have a look at how that came up. <laughs> I'll try not to be so silly. Man. Man, man, man. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful, but I don't want to lay it on my plate because there's more there. And I need it. I need it. I need it. These are all beautiful. Fabulous textures. I mean, can you believe that that's just a cheap $5 bath mat? And you get three pieces. I mean, you know, good bang for your buck. I cut it into three sections. And this is going to work for what I want. The color, the shape and the texture is fabulous. See, look, I knew that would come up. Look at that. That is fabulous. It's got a great texture to it. Very art deco. I love it. And that's going to work well for my collage. So I might just do that again. And then, except this time, I'm going to put a bit of copper in with the Payne's Grey. And see how that looks. And go through that process again. Wipe all the marks off. And then print the ghost print and print a couple of oops and print a couple of ghost prints and create something fabulous right oh, no. here we go see that side's what's making the glorious texture i mean you could print that side but that's pretty boring i like this side with the lines and the shapes but you do have to um Get all that paint off so that the ghost print has just got those fabulous shapes on it. Very Art Deco, I'm telling you. So we'll just do it once more and then we'll put the collage together. Because I'll have some new papers to use. Yay! Because, you know, it's a whole year on. <laughs> Getting all that paint out from the in-between, the shapes that I actually want in the ghost print. I mean, that's pretty interesting. I am going to use this. I'm going to um, add some paint to the papers and they'll be useful as well. So I think that's enough off there. I might use this rice paper. Chinese rice paper. That should absorb quite a good amount up, actually. I just think that the shape and the texture of it is so fabulous. I mean, it's exactly what I need. Oh, look at that. I just love it. That is fabulous. Okay, look how fabulous my beautiful prints dried up. This is the one with the texture plate and the stencil and the oops sprays of gold <laughs> ink. Oh, I love this stencil so much and it works amazing as an impression plate to leave that texture on the gel plate and pull the print. I mean, so easy. That is the most easiest thing to do. Um, they, they differ slightly. They look fabulous. The colors are just gorgeous. They're so going to match what I want with my collage. And I have quite a few different options. That gold is just beautiful. So that's some of those that I can use. Haven't decided which one I want to use. The beautiful prints from the Hello Cheap Nasty Bath Mat are just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. That's the one that I pulled with the Payne's Grey. And then the alizarin and something else I threw on the plate. Can't remember. Uh, that looks fabulous in just the gold and a probably ghost print runoff from that. Look at the clear, the clarity of the shape on this one is really cool. Those colors will work well. I mean, this one's pretty fab. That's definitely a ghost print. And I love ghost prints. Absolutely love them. This is oh so dramatic with a spray of gold. Oh, I'm liking that one. This has the rose red with the bronze. Loving that. And of course, more glamour, more glamour with some gold and some moody paints. Great. They work really well. And you know what's quite fascinating is the print that I took first 
to get all of the bits off so I could leave the ghost print shape. Look how fascinating that looks. That just looks quite amazing in itself. Then there's this one with the gold. And then, of course, I tried printing a colour over it with the copper. That looks cool. And this one, I printed a texture plate on it and then sprayed it with gold. I mean, this one copped everything. <laughs> but it's quite an interesting print. So, you know, you've got to keep playing and keep experimenting. These are the prints from the wallpaper impression plate. So, you know, I have quite a few to choose from. The trouble now is going to be actually deciding which ones I want to put in the collage, which always seems to be my problem. I'm going to use, definitely use some of my um, fabulous inspiration pack there's some colors in here i definitely want to use and i've decided i'm going to put my beautiful bitters queen in my collage because it reminds me of that fabulous moment of our holiday and really that's the point i mean if you've got a fabulous holiday that you remember and it fills you with joy and when you think about it why not create yourself a journal page because those moments are really worth treasuring. Just going to say, my mum this year is going to be 80. I mean, that we're in the end innings, I'm telling you. <laughs> She's almost in overtime. So, you know, these moments and these holidays are really worth treasuring because you don't know what's around that corner, right? Who knew last year would be such a challenge for so many people so you've got to make the most of the beautiful moments you have to treasure and what better way to do it than creating art i'm telling you it's all about creating beautiful art right so i'm going to use matte medium because i like brushing it on it's a personal thing I'm a painter from way back and the brush is so natural to me. You can use PVA glue or even a glue stick in your art journal. You just do you. Whatever works for you is great. I have a little plastic card if I want to flatten something. There's my matte medium. I've got some scissors and, you know, pretty good to go. Now I'm going to cut her out of this and then decide how much of it I want to use. Love these pieces. They all mean something really um, particular to me because they remind me of the places we went. I was taking photographs everywhere we went and then I put some pages together with the photographs from the different places and created some beautiful papers from them. Now this is from a purse. We went to this fabulous arts and crafts like artisan type gallery where they made beautiful ceramics and all sorts of handmade just glorious glorious things so i want to keep that because i love that it reminds me of that gallery um and the cheesecake was pretty good <laughs> they have these fabulous cafes in these gorgeous places i want to keep that um so i think i'm going to cut that out because I want that bit. Oh my gosh. And in this beautiful gallery, they had the most amazing African ceramics. And you know, I do like to support artisans from around the world. So look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I just think they had so much. It was so hard to choose. They had so many beautiful things and I just loved it. Had to buy it. So, you know, there you go. So I'm just going to start by cutting some sections and putting them on my page. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, which bits I'm using and which bits I'm not using, because I'll just get into a creative frenzy and start creating and see where we end up. I'll just basically keep creating until I'm happy with the result. And really, that's the... Uh, most fun way I know how to work. I just really like doing it like that. If something's not pleasing me and I don't like it, then I'll just change it. I'll put something else over it. I'll use a different piece of paper or I'll paint over it. It really is okay. I don't mind having to fix and change things if it doesn't look exactly how I want it. So I'm going to just start and see where we end up.
looks like we're off to a good start. Now, which one of these beautiful prints am I going to use from the Glorious Bath Mat? Do I want it dark and dramatic? Do I want just a faint image? Yeah, no, I don't know. There's so many to choose from. Because <laughs> why print one when you can print 20, right? <laughs> oh, man. Which one am I going to choose? Now, you know, where we start is not necessarily where we're going to finish. So don't be afraid to just make a decision and stick something down. If you don't like it, you can change it. I've got so many options for these beautiful papers. It really was a tough decision. But I think I'm going with the one with the magenta on it because it's just pretty. Right? <laughs> There's no other reason that it's pretty. <laughs> I'm going to start with that one, and if I don't like it, I can change it. No stress. You just need to trust yourself and know that you can fix it later if something doesn't look exactly how you want it. Create without fear. You can change it. Fix it, paint over it, rearrange it. It'll be okay. Look at that. Just beautiful. Now, who would have thought that this was a stencil made from a cheap plastic bath mat? Just glorious. This beautiful piece is from the impression plate of the wallpaper piece. Absolutely love it. Now, I'm not sure what's still going to be here on the page when it finishes, <laughs> but at least we know that some beautiful colours went down. <laughs> you can just see the text script on this piece. It just looks like um, a fabulous shadow of texture, and I'm loving it. Right, what's next? I'm loving the beautiful pattern on this print from the texture plate of that stencil girl stencil so i'm going to use some of this one Okay, we're looking good. Now, I think I'm going to put some of this beautiful tissue from the winery that we went to. It was glorious, let me tell you. Now, if you're going to use tissue in your collage, which you really should do because it's a fabulous resource, it came from the beautiful shop that, of course, was in the winery. You want to make sure you pull the backing tissue off your serviette. Otherwise, it just won't stick properly. And, of course, you can use that and paint on that to make more collage papers. I mean, hello! <laughs> These resources, they're just endless. Now, I love using serviettes because they're soft, they're easy to use, and you can pick them up relatively inexpensive from different places that you go. It will remind you of where you've been and the fabulous adventures that you've had. Now, I'm going to... Am I going to tear it or cut it? Hmm. I'll try tearing it. I'm going to just create a bit of a, a shape around this piece here, side here, because it's looking pretty nice. Now I pulled this tissue out of my inspiration pack because they have one that I picked up from the glorious winery. Um, when those packs are finished, uh, there's no more, by the way, <laughs> because I don't actually have any more of this fabulous serviette. What I have is in my inspiration packs, and once those packs are all gone, then that's the end of that beautiful moment. But art is like that. 
It's about creating in a moment using the resources that you have. It's like creating little, you know, time capsules. This was a time and a place. And it's fabulous to remember these moments. Look at that, so easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oops, don't poke it too much, you'll rip it. <laughs> I know, right? I oh, know, spoke too soon. <laughs> Righto, that's beautiful. Now, what else is in my inspiration pack that I want to use? I think I want to use this piece, but I don't want to just stick it on. I think I should. What about we cut a circle with it? Yes. So I have one of these fabulous Fiskars. It's a two inch circle. Love using this thing, and that's the paper. This was just ordinary craft paper that you get in those packs, you know, relatively um, inexpensive from de big department stores in the like craft section or the art journaling or scrapbooking. You get packs of them, and then I just put a fabulous stencil over it in golden iridescent bronze, I would say, because that's my favorite color. And now I'm just gonna stamp some holes in it and see how they look. That's a great stencil for Art Deco. Love using craft paper. Ooh, you could even use the round bits because, because it's relatively inexpensive and you can do so much more with it. There we go. This is what we have. Do we like them? Do we want to use them? Yeah, they're not bad. I don't mind it. I like the patterns on them. I could put it there on where she's leaning, right? Maybe not there. Do I want to do that? That's pretty cool. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Maybe that pattern. So if we put one there, we're probably going to have to put one up here, aren't we? Can't just have one. Jeez Louise. Put one there. Do we want a third one? You know, we always like to do things in threes. Maybe we do that. I don't mind it. I don't mind. You know, I've seen worse. We'll just let them sit there for a bit and see if I actually do want to do that. My serviette's gone down well. I'm loving the black lines there. They look good. Now, what do I want to put there is the question... There's so many options, <laughs> that's the problem. And then, you know, if I pull out my scrap bag, my scrap bag also has a huge amount of possibilities, which I love. Ooh, look, there's the circle from the other art journal page using the wallpaper. Hey, I'm loving that. Look at that. Oh, there's that. Now, if you've watched any of my other previous Sunday in the studios, you know <laughs> where these are coming from. <laughs> I just scoop them up and put them in this fabulous bag. Oh, I'm liking that. That's pretty dramatic. Oh, yeah, I like that. Do we want that? No, we don't want that. Oh, we love this paper. Yes, we do. Oh, Nat Geo, we love that too. And we'll put those over there. Oh, the um, beehive paper from last week, that was fabulous. You know, I had a little experimentation with, on that beehive paper and I did some painting on it. Maybe one of those bits might work too. Righto, righto. Oh, that's pretty nice. See, this is why I love my scrap bag because it's got all of these little pieces that in themselves become quite special oh, that looks cool yes i don't know if i'm liking them anymore oh there's another one of the oh that was all right too <laughs> got to decide stop it stop it stop it stop pulling things out 
Oh, that's a pretty nice circle. Maybe I like that better. Let me pull those off. Not sure if I like those or not. I like that. I did some mark making the other week. Made a stack of prints. You know, I don't mind that one. But I don't want, I don't think I want them. <laughs> okay. Put it on, take it off. I like that, but what do you think about that idea? I'm liking that. I think that beautiful drama there offsets this drama here. And I think that by itself is probably better than all of these. It's probably all a bit too much. I know I can do tend to get a little bit too much. Well, I'm liking that. Love my scrap bag. I don't. Let's just stop looking for a start. That'll help. <laughs> so I'm going to fill that piece up. I think I'm going to use this piece here. Is from my fabulous bath mat print. And I think I'll put a piece of this to fill this section here. Yep, let's do that. And then we'll decide if we really want to use these pieces. But I am rather leading towards these pieces. And maybe that instead of these. Maybe one of these. One of these? <laughs> okay, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Let me just grab my fabulous water brush pen and take a bit of this off. Just tears so much easier when you put water on it. I'm liking that. I think I'll cut the edge there. Okay, that's working. Let's move with this idea at least. that looks great rather dramatic um the red of course matches beautiful with this and that i'm liking the black it's connecting with this dramatic piece over here i think i'll stick that down i think i'm liking this option the best for here i think that it'll be okay let's put that right there Glorious colours, all these golds and bronze and black. Oh, just love it. So dramatic. <laughs> right, that's looking beautiful. Love this piece up here. I love the way that is exactly the same texture pattern as the actual piece there of the serviette. That looks fabulous. It's all looking rather nice. Now, this needs something here because that's coming down and just stopping. So we need something there for sure. And I'm still thinking about my painted um, beehive paper for here. Just not sure if it might be too much. <laughs> so I'm pulling out this piece. Now, you know how to do my fabulous circle shapes because I showed you last week my secret circle making template. <laughs> it was so much fun. So I thought I'd pull this one out and have a look because the pattern on it is very Art Nouveau and I think it would match really well. So what do we think about this idea? It needs to have something that it's connecting with because your eye travels down that black line. So it needs to land somewhere. I'm liking that. I think that's okay, but I will probably end it there, like halfway. 
on the circle. And I think I'll cut that black out because that's a bit heavy at the bottom there. Or should I leave the black in? Oh man, I don't know. I could cut it out and then the red would come through or I could leave the black in because it's, it um, connects great with that shape. And then none, oh man, <laughs> I don't know, man. either way it's got to look good. <laughs> you see, you could create these collages 10 different ways with 10 different decisions and it'll all look beautiful. It just depends on the day, where, which way you're leaning, how you're feeling. Do you want it to be really dramatic, a little bit dramatic? And it's got to be fun right so that's definitely going to go there the question is do we leave the black on it or not that is the question i can cut the circle out and it would just show the red through that would be nice but i'm telling you the black's kind of cool too because it gives somewhere for your eye to land when you trail down that black line and then also it continues with that theme as well so okay if you insist i'm going to leave the black on it bold move people it's a bold move or does it look like an exclamation mark well that's not bad either i don't mind that idea i mean it is art deco we are celebrating so i don't mind and it's got that little bit of um dark patch there which is from my fabulous Payne's gray bit on that print okay i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave the black so that your eye has somewhere to land when it's trailing down there and then it would naturally go over to this black section here and it's got that black section up there and that little bit there and that bit okay okay <laughs> get the point i get the point <laughs> we're gonna leave it we're gonna leave it yeah it's so funny I didn't actually cut it entirely straight, but meh, it'll be okay. I can trim that little bit off once it's dried. Da -da -da -da. Decision finally made. And it looks beautiful. You know, I'm still wanting to add this in and look. It goes well with that colour. <laughs> what, <about? laughs> what about here? Now, do I want a whole circle or a cut half a circle? <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, all right. I'm going to put it in. I just have to. It looks fabulous. It's got to go somewhere. Oh, these colours are just glorious. Look at that. Yes, I'm happy with that decision. <laughs> that looks fabulous. And then you're looking at this and then your eye goes to that and then your eye goes to that. So your eye is trailing back up this page. So you're coming down this page, cross here and back up this page. I'm liking the flow, the flow is working and it makes me happy. Ah, <sighs> that's quite reminiscent of the fabulous wine glass round circle marks that I did in my original art journal page. That makes me happy. Uh, there's the glorious pictures. The backgrounds are fabulous. The textures are working well. You know, I don't think we're going to really need to add too much more. I know I've got a whole ton of papers here on my table, but really... <laughs> Oh, yes. Look at that. That's out of the inspiration pack as well. That's on rice paper. Look at that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I have to have it. Where's it going to go? That way? Oh, that's just beautiful. Or uh, we could cut some shapes out of this. Put it on there. Or cut that there. We have to have it. We just have to have it. Just have to. That looks pretty cool. OK, 
cut it across there. Yeah, I'm liking that. Add it? Yes? Or no? <laughs> yes! Do I hear a unanimous yes? What about yes? Definitely there. Right there. Right there. You know what we could do? We could add a little piece. Ooh, yes! Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're starting to get some ideas flowing. <laughs> Let's try this idea. This is such a cool stencil. I like this idea, but I think I need to cut them better. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. I love it. I love the opulence. I love the extravagance of it. The copper color, the bronze color, the gold colors. I absolutely love this fabulous color scheme and the style of Art Deco, Art Nouveau. Oh my gosh. It's very glamorous. That's what I love about it. So now if you do get one of those inspiration packs, just know that um, they're all different. The prints, the jelly prints that will be in whatever comes to you will be completely different. These are the ones that I found in this pack that I randomly took out of my drawer. And these are rather beautiful, which I love. Hello, Lucky Dip Art. <laughs> I think that's funny. Well, very happy with this. I think I might let it dry, but that's okay. I'm liking this piece here. It's kind of nice. It leads your eye up there. I love that there's a tiny bit of the same texture there. These colors work really well. That's beautiful. That's fabulous. Yeah, I think it's looking rather beautiful. Now, I absolutely love this black line, but I do think... On closer inspection, it's just a little dominant. It's taking away from my beautiful queen over here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my favorite golden iridescent bronze down on this like this, just to give it a little less dominance. Because, you know, the bitter's queen has to rule the page. Not a scrap from my scrap bag. So I'm just going to touch it with some bronze, which always looks amazing. And make it half as wide was my idea. Now that, that's okay. That's okay. We can live with that. Bit of water. Thin it out a little bit more. And I might even put some on my circle here. I like the black, but not too heavy. Just putting a bit of water on it to smudge it in more, make it a bit more organic in its line, a little bit runny. Don't worry, it'll dry eventually. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, yeah, that's better, don't you think? I think that's better. I love this golden iridescent bronze fine too because it releases the patina when you add 
water to it, which looks amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that's better. Not so dominant. All right, I'll let it dry, let it dry, and we'll have a look then. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Looks much better. Now, do I want to fiddle with it somewhere else? <laughs> problem once i start fiddling with things i mean look at it it's such a glorious color what about if i put some on this shape will this work nah, that might not be such no nah, now it looks like fire <laughs> that's why i forget that idea meh delete delete oh i don't mind the color on it okay we'll smudge some color oh yeah that looks all right that looks all right you see how these things happen? You just have to try and trust yourself that you can fix it if you don't like it. I'm liking that color on there. Yeah, that looks good. I don't Do I want to add it to this one? No, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I know, I'm bloody. I know, right? I'm just hopeless. <laughs> I just got to fiddle with it. Oh, yes. But it does look good. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of the bronze. on the Because this is a copper, pretty sure. Just a little touch. Yeah, I like that. That's great. That was a good idea. Thanks for that one. <laughs> Sometimes you just need just a tiny bit. Yeah, that 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 worked. That was a good idea. Just a tiny little dab of the bronze on the copper. Now I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> Back away back away so this is the fabulous beehive paper that i showed you last week except i thought i'd try putting some paint on it and seeing how it looked and it looks pretty nice like it matches that color which is a fluke <laughs> so what do you think shall i put it on it's pretty darn nice do i want to put it on the top or do i want to pull it down a bit i might pull it down a bit because I like the way this layer is on top of that layer and then that layer is sitting behind it. I'm liking all the um, dimensions of the push and pull of the layers. It just makes, to me, it makes it more interesting. I like the fact that it's matching this color. That's really working. So how about I put it on and let's see. You know, we can only not like it. Is that the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> It'll be okay. So, you know, doing a collage like this, truly, you could do it 10 different ways. And you probably not necessarily agreed with all of my crazy decisions. And you really can, you know, do this kind of application completely different every time you play with your beautiful papers. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Look at that. Oh, I just smudged it with matte medium but it will dry i'm clearer than that the color is perfect like hello that was pretty cool it was just an experiment to see what it would look like painted because last week i put it on my page it looked amazing in the white and the white um became quite transparent in these circle bits and the underneath papers could be seen through and that looked fabulous i loved it absolutely loved it and then I thought, hmm, I wonder if it looks as good painted. So you have to try. You just have to try. Um, I'll show you once it's dried because it will look different again. But I love about this paper is the incredible texture of the circles. And they're not exactly perfect, which I love. But you can still see the papers through the middle bit which is fabulous and i think that really finishes it off nicely i like the way it's now brought that line down to the bottom of the page we've got this fabulous circle 
that's looking good that's much better now that i added the bronze tiny bit of scrap script um, stencil there fabulous loving this side loving the dramatic line here because you know i do like me a little bit of drama so i think that looks very moroccan looking and i like that it's a fabulous stencil that one love the purse up here and the texture and i love to look at this and reminisce about the fabulous holiday we had last year so i want to encourage you if you've had a fabulous holiday and you didn't get to have another one this year um then you know pull out some of your photos have a look at your beautiful memories and create yourself an art journal page that you can just have a little moment to remember because your memories are your treasures and creating the art from these memories just makes you able to enjoy that treasure in a physical, tangible way. I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching this today as I thought about my holiday. Um, it really could have gone so many different directions. This is where it ended up, which is fabulous. I'm really happy with it. I really enjoyed putting this together. I just love these colors and textures it's very me this kind of extravagance yes it is you can watch my original art journal page on my website it's absolutely free and i'll put all of the links in the description if you would like some of these papers i do have some inspiration packs left um, and i really hope that you do something with your beautiful memories and your treasures and create something glorious from your previous holidays and show me show me in my group what you've done because i would really love to see it right now i'll let this dry and then i'll show you when it's dry and thanks for joining me i really hope you join me again i don't know what we'll be doing next time but i know it will be beautiful and it'll be a lot of fun Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad you did. Show me some love, subscribe to the channel and join me again next week. Yeah.